Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue is one of the four basic types of tissue in the body, and it plays a vital role in many different functions. The term, epithelium, comes from the Greek words, epi, and, theal. This is the thin tissue forming the outer layer of a body's surface and lining the alimentary canal and other hollow structures. Epithelial tissue is found all over the body, including skin, lining of the digestive tract, respiratory tract, and urinary tract, glands, such as the sweat glands and salivary glands, lining of the blood vessels and other organs. There are two main types of epithelial tissue, simple epithelium and stratified epithelium. The simple epithelium is made up of a single layer of cells. It is found in areas where there is a need for rapid diffusion, such as the lining of the small intestine. The stratified epithelium is made up of multiple layers of cells. It is found in areas where there is a need for protection, such as the skin. There are also several subtypes of epithelial tissue, each with its own unique characteristics and functions. Some of the most common subtypes include squamous epithelium, cuboidal epithelium, columnar epithelium, pseudostratified epithelium, and transitional epithelium. The squamous epithelium is made up of flat, scale-like cells. It is found in areas where there is a need for protection or absorption, such as the lining of the lungs and the blood vessels. Cuboidal epithelium is made up of cube-shaped cells. It is found in areas where there is a need for secretion or absorption, such as the lining of the kidneys and the small intestine. Columnar epithelium is made up of tall, column-like cells. It is found in areas where there is a need for secretion, such as the lining of the stomach and the intestines. Pseudostratified epithelium looks like it is stratified, but it is actually not. The cells are all connected at the base, but they vary in height. It is found in areas where there is a need for both protection and secretion, such as the lining of the respiratory tract. The functions of epithelial tissue vary depending on its location. Some of the most common functions include protection, secretion, absorption, excretion, filtration, sensory reception, etc. Epithelial tissue helps protect the body from harmful substances and pathogens. For example, the skin protects the body from the environment, and the lining of the digestive tract protects the body from harmful bacteria. Epithelial tissue secretes a variety of substances, including mucus, sweat, and hormones. For example, the sweat glands secrete sweat, which helps to cool the body. It also absorbs nutrients and other substances from the environment. For example, the small intestine absorbs nutrients from food. Epithelial tissue excretes waste products from the body. For example, the kidneys excrete urine, which contains waste products from the blood. Some epithelial tissues are specialized for sensory reception. For example, the taste buds are made up of epithelial tissue and are responsible for the sense of taste. Epithelial tissue is a vital part of the body. It performs a variety of important functions, including protection, secretion, absorption, excretion, filtration, and sensory reception. Epithelial tissue is found all over the body, and its type and location vary depending on its function. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and also press the bell icon for more videos about science and biology.